Well, we had the old single shot 303 this years ago yeah. when I was living in the old tin, in the old slab of worry. And I had a shot out of it one time before, the starling away up on a dead Remo tree, away up the paddock. And I, after I had the shot, I, I said, I'll clean it and I'll put it away and I won't know anything about it. And this other day when Mum went away and Dad's in charge and he buggered off somewhere. So we had a big row of uh, Lausiana trees just out front of the old house. And there's a mocky mock and I said, well, I'll get the three or three and I'll have a shot at this mocky mock. And I Boom! No chance of hitting the old mocky mock. And I said, I'll clean the gun now and put it away. And I don't know anything about it. And just as I said that, the old man walked around the corner of the house. Yeah. And, and he kept me one of the biggest bloody hides I'd ever had, eh? The only hide I'd ever had from the old man. Yeah. I never forgot that. Yeah. yeah. How old were you? Oh, I don't know. Oh, well, I can remember that, eh? Yeah. Oh, well, I, yeah. I don't know. Might, well, well, it might have been about it must 10 have been, or something, wasn't it? It must have been Don and you yeah. and, say, and me and yeah. Edna and what have you. It would be us like. Eight or nine. Because yeah. Mum went like crooked Dad because yeah. he got the all the for. children and Percy with his gun, three or three or whatever and it was. And when you... The bloody shot had sort of gone off. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... The bloody corner yeah. cut. Yeah, well, and he, he was right. His head off. <laughs> well, he was right in the line of fire too when he walked up the paddock oh. where I shot you, mate. Y your mother was a bit of a one for the gun too. Was yes, she? she was. Yeah. yeah, some story I sort of remember where she had a shot at the mob of ducks on the water, those little teal ducks, and she fired, and of course they all dived, and she threw up her arms. Good God, she said, "I've shot the lot." A few, minutes after, a few minutes after, all popped up down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Sarah had her share of her own memorable moments. But mostly she would have had to contend with what her children got up to. Us kids, we had to milk the cows, or two of them were Bert and I, or Edna and I, yeah. and we had this long-legged wild pony that they'd caught out on the plains. Anyway, we'd milk the cows, and we had our house cow, we had our house milk mm. in the bucket, so we put it way up in the pine trees, we went down to have a feed of raspberries. When we come back, the horse with the big long neck had drunk all the milk, hadn't he? <laughs> <laughs> so we now had no house milk. Got in trouble? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but again, this thing too. We'd had our dinner and we'd all kind of finished and the bread and stuff was still lying around on this. And Mum's out talking or showing around the garden or something. We came in the horses inside, isn't they? <laughs> and he's had a feed of, of the, you know, what was left on the table, the bread and what have you. So we had to try and get him out of there. It was tame, of course, but mm. get it out. Calmly, I suppose. Yeah, without well, yeah. breaking everything. Yeah. yeah so. mm. Talking about those bloody wild horses, I can remember. I'm very old. Heck, you used to catch them out in the plains. You know, catch a wild horse off the plains out in Kina. Yeah. And bring them home, and the odd stallion there would never break into harness or anything like that. And was was no good. He used to kill and cook up for his pigs. And it was carting this bloody cooked horse up in the 44 gallon drums, half full, you know. Mm. Up to the old Virginia Mar now, this is from down the, where the hay barn one is. And I, I'm on the back of the sledge, you know, getting a ride. And he said, well, you just stand off and hold the reins while I open this gate, you know, for this bloody horse stump. Yeah, no, he on his tail, eh? Yeah, they burned it off because he wouldn't come across the bloody white park and they stuck a lighted tea tree and put it under his ass. And he flew the bloody white park and burned all the hair off his ass. Yeah, no, here they call him stump. And they broke him into the bloody... Uh, Sledge. And Heck opened the bloody gate, going up to what bomb duty's there now, and the horse had one look behind him and stinging the bloody thing. And shit, did he take off, boy? He barely knocked Heck over as he went through the bloody gate. And as he went through the sledge, sort of hit the gate, broke one bloody chain, and he had one chain hanging on the sledge, and shit, there was a bloody cooked horse all up the bloody paddock. He went across, down below the, the swamp, below the bomb duty houses, down, he's caught up in the bloody cherry trees there, eh? Yeah, and remember that shit was he snorting and going on, eh? Was it just the smell of the flesh of the horse? Oh, he's the man, yeah. yeah. There, there. Mm. Didn't like it. Yeah. He said, right, yeah. he's the next bastard. He no. was too. He was. <laughs> he was the next one. He got shot. And After <laughs> behaviour like that, he was going to be. <laughs> he was fed to the pig's next horse. Oh, yeah. oh jeez, I'll never forget that bloody mm. horse. Gonna be one, one chain hanging on the yeah. collar. And you'd already stood up? Oh, you hang oh, on. off. You he made me go off. And hang on to the yeah, range. Yeah, get off and hang on to the range, but no way could I hold the bloody He just was whipped out of your hands old. and... I might have been 10 or something like oh, yeah. that, you know. I can say, we, talk, we, talk. we had piles of, of, of wild horses, though, didn't we? We had all sorts yeah. of different oh, yeah. ones. We had that little weeny white one we called Lucky. Yeah. And we, you and I used to get on and go That's up and right. get the cows and everything and run around without a bridle or anything, you know. She's a tricky little piece. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you're talking about horses, Prince 
that was you or bloody Bob, eh? No, when I went to get the It was you, was it? Get the Swedes? Yeah, the Sleds. Down in the old house. Take the shotgun, eh? The old lady said, you get old Primson go and get a load of Swedes. Used to be a lot of pheasants down there in those days. Oh, I take the shotgun and might get a pheasant. Old Primson, if it was a horse, he'd stand all day. Just drop the reins and he'd stand there. He's standing there. And, oh, I'd go from here to the road gate and up gets a pheasant. Bang! <laughs> it's a rousing fart, and I looked around and Prince is full ball with a sledge behind him. <laughs> Just a few oh. minutes before the old lady called all the kids in for lunch, yes. all out playing in the paddock where Prince went through. And he jumped the road fence, he jumped the fence, and the sledge stayed on this side of the fence. <laughs> <laughs> Forget that. <laughs> Stand there snorting. Bert and I take an old Sally, only I have his old pet cow up the milk, let's see. And he said, Oh, back at this cow, this cow seen, and he tied it to his tail. <laughs> Shit. She cut him off there, didn't she? You done what? Tied it to what? You tied the bloody kerosene to anti kerosene oh. to a tail you weren't going to carry up. You know, she's quiet old cow. Yeah, yeah. Pat, 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 and you get her up the hill. And he tied the kerosene to <laughs> Shit, she bloody flew, man. The bloody kerosene to us fly. Wait. Yeah. And she ended up on the cherry trees too, didn't she?